do I look like a baby? Do, do I have a little sookie in my mouth? Do I, am I wearing a little diaper? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, you know who it is, and I come at you guys back again once again with a brand new video, and ladies and gentlemen, I want to present you guys with a follow-up video to my last video, which for all intents and purposes was meant to be a discussion video, and this is in regards to what we talked about in the last video being the problems with Pokemon Go's EX Raid Pass system. Now, the reason for this follow-up, ladies and gentlemen, is because of the fact that there's still a little bit more to talk about here, and there is also something that I want to clear up that I missed spoke on in the last video. So to bring you guys back to this article right here that we had used in the last video, uh, we spoke most specifically on number four here. Now I had misinterpreted uh, what the graph was showing. I thought that it showcased the amount of raids that these individuals uh, competed in, but it's actually the amount of invites that these uh, accounts uh, ended up getting. So uh, I misinterpreted on that one and I want to apologize for that but there is another reason why I bring guys back here to this article if we go ahead actually and we scroll up just scroll up here a little bit we take a look at this ladies and gentlemen we take a look at the pie chart now this right here this pie chart shows a very very uh very interesting kind of statistic because what we got going on here right it says, and I quote, gym badge levels at EX gyms. And you would notice that the gold bar right here is the least uh, out of the entire pie. And we have the silver taking the cake at 110 and bronze taking second place at 104 and gold taking place at 31 being last place. Now, this right here kind of shows that it's like, okay, wait a second here. Does this mean that you didn't have to spend all that time getting all those badges up to gold in order for you to get an EX Raid Pass? I mean, let me take you guys to a really interesting thing that Niantic said. So this here is a screenshot that my brother Jason sent to me, and this is taken from Niantic's official website. And it says, and I quote, this pass grants you access to an EX raid. This pass can only be used at a specific gym at a specific time. To receive an EX raid pass, you must have successfully completed a raid recently by defeating a raid boss at the gym where the EX raid battle will be taking place. To increase your chances of receiving an EX raid pass, and this right here, okay, uh, I want to specifically direct you to the third point right here. Earn more gold gym badges. Trainers with a high level gym badge are more likely to be invited to an EX raid battle taking place at that gym. So this right here, this is taken from Niantic's official website on this matter, and yet we've seen in the pie chart that it's the complete opposite. It's kind of contradicting what Niantic is saying right here. Now, I don't know if that's just some really funky fluke that's going on, or if there is some sort of weird sort of algorithm that is really messing with a lot of players when it comes to EX raid battles and when it comes to the whole system in general. I mean, I know I've spoken quite a bit about the flaws and the problems of the EX raid system, but this right here is just kind of another cherry to add on top of the pile that we already have. Like, this is just... Man, I gotta say that this this whole EX raid system thing really, really isn't looking good. I mean, it, we already knew that it was pretty bad to begin with, with the uh, amount of expectations and the amount of things that's already been wrong with it. But this right here is just making things just so much worse. But with that being said, let's move on. So this right here has gotten pretty interesting. I mean, even more so than what it already has become, you know. Um, and again, I just want to say that, you know, I'm not making this video to try and dump on Niantic or trying to, you know, stir any shit or whatever. But this is more or less kind of just saying, look, Niantic, it's like, you do have problems that you need to address, okay? You need to communicate with your player base. And the thing is, okay, uh, is that we know, and again, this isn't meant to muck on you, but it's a fact that you guys haven't exactly been the best with communication, okay? Um, I mean, the fact is that when there was that whole 
two item glitch that we had to deal with back in October of last year, there was not a lick of communication from you guys about that. It was just fixed, just automatically. Like, you guys just completely kept mum about it, and you didn't say anything, which kind of made me think. It's like, number one, did you guys even know that this glitch was happening? And number two, if you guys knew this glitch was happening, why didn't you say anything? And it kind of made me think. It's like, you know, again, it just kind of goes back to uh, that meme that I seen a while back that there was a whole Pokemon no, you know, kind of play on words for Pokemon Go, but Pokemon no, and then down below communication. So, I mean, here's the thing, man, is that a little communication goes a long way. I mean, that goes without saying, you know, I, I preach communication over and over again at my job because my job is nothing but communication. I work healthcare security, but regardless of what occupation you work in, you know, communication is key, especially in a business mindset, uh, and especially, especially in such a, uh, a high-end, high-level, high-tier kind of business like Niantic and with Pokemon Go and all that stuff, where you have still millions of customers that you need to value their critiques and their criticisms on, but you refuse to communicate with them whatsoever and the thing is that you know I get that you guys have a lot of customers that you gotta deal with here but the thing is is that it doesn't exactly help the issue when you send out a bunch of automated bot like responses that are very vague that don't give any insight or any clarification whatsoever when it comes to addressing actual issues when it comes to uh, whether it's in-game issues or whether someone has something wrong with their account uh, things like that you know just uh, I just I the thing is, again, you know, I'm not trying to hate on you, but I'm just saying it's like, look, it's like, you guys really need to step it up when it comes to communication, you know? It, believe me when I say that, communication will go a long way, trust me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so, with all that being said, uh, there is one more point that I want to make here in this video before I don't have to make any more follow-up videos in case I miss anything, because I feel like I've said all that I needed to say pretty much here on this topic at this given time. But there is one more thing that I want to say, and this right here, you know, may come off as a little bit controversial. It's definitely, if that is the case, then it's definitely the most controversial thing I could ever say here in this video. But this right here is in regards to uh, EX Raid Passes and the people who react to getting EX Raid Passes. Now, see, here's the thing, is that with the amount of statistics shown here uh, when it comes to people getting EX Raid Passes, it's pretty much ass backwards, you know, like Niantic is saying that, you know, to increase your chances of getting EX Raid Passes, you know, you got to invest, you got to do more raids, you got to build up your gym badges and this, that and everything else. And yet the statistics seem to show basically the complete opposite, which I want to say that I feel really sorry for those that have to grind and grind and grind and grind under the false pretense that they, to say that they're going to get a raid pass when that might not actually be the, uh, the reality of the situation. But we're not so much here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about uh, the fact is, is that like when it comes to getting an EX raid pass in general, uh, that is like the equivalent of like winning a small lottery. That is big, you know, and I'm very congratulatory when it comes to any of my friends getting an EX Raid Pass, and thankfully from my own personal experience, I have not had to deal with what I'm about to talk about here, but I have heard and even seen some elitism from people who get EX Raid Passes, who get Mewtwo, and they look down on others who haven't yet got that, you know, and then they're the ones that are sitting on their high horse and uh, talking about, oh, you shouldn't be salty towards people who have EX Raid Pass, you know, your time will come, this and everything else, well, it's like, well, here's the thing, is that maybe if you weren't waving it in our faces and talking down on us as if we were your pawns rather than your equals and maybe people wouldn't be so salty in the first place it's like yes it is frustrating in general when it comes to how flawed the system is and that's generally why people are pissed off about the whole ex raid pass system but the thing is that what gets people even more pissed off is when they're constantly looking around and seeing people, you know, bragging about it and, you know, kind of talking down on that individual, talking down on those people. It's like, listen, man, you know, at the end of the day, you got to pump the brakes and realize that this is just a game, you know. The thing is that, like, it's... It, a lot coming from me because Pokemon Go is a big part of my life, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, even I realize that it's just a game and, you know, it's not everything, but here's the thing is that, you know, there are people who treat it 
as something completely different and they'll treat it with such hostility if you have a differing opinion or you know if you have something that either they don't and they get pissed off about it or you know if you brag about something that you have that another person don't and they get pissed off about it it's like Either way, it's like, when it comes to playing Pokemon Go, don't be malicious about it, don't be elitist, don't be an asshole, you know? I'm just here playing the game to have fun, and you want to know something is that I owe a lot to the game itself, because I made a lot of good friends, you know? Um, such as, uh, such as the gang here in Sac Vegas, you know, representing, baby, you know, all that good stuff. Shout out to you guys. Uh, I gotta say that Pokemon Go has blessed me with some really solid experiences. Um, and you know what, regardless, I'm not going to let any of the shortcomings of the game, uh, change my opinions on the game itself. I'm not gonna let, uh, salty attitudes from people who are either arrogant or just plain immature change my opinion of the game, because, you know what, it's my game, and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the experiences that I have obtained from a playing Pokemon Go. So... With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is basically all I have to say here about this subject. Hopefully, like I said, I don't have to make another follow-up video about this, but I feel like I said that all that I need to say, and I think I've already proven my point about the EX raid system in general. So, with all that being said, guys, I want to say thank you guys all very much, and I'm really glad that this video isn't as long as the other one. Holy hell, that was a movie. But with that said, thank you for watching. I love each and every single one of you guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, subscribe support stay positive keep it 100 i'll see you next time and also ladies and gentlemen don't forget to like and share this video and let's see if we can get some good support hit on this video as well and i want to thank you guys as well for the amount of support they've shown my last videos thank you guys so much i love you have a good night